All right, uh, now let's continue further and look at example three. And this one states, uh, show that the lines L1 and L2 with parametric equations shown below are skew lines. That is, they do not intersect and are not parallel and therefore do not lie in the same plane. So here's line L1. This is x equals 1 plus t. Then we had y equals to negative 2 plus 3t. And z is equal to 4 minus t. And likewise, x equals to 2s. Y equals 3 plus s. And z equals to negative 3 plus 4s. That's better. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. And the solution here, uh, so the lines, yeah, the lines, first of all, they're not parallel. So they show that they don't intersect and, uh, and are not parallel. So they're not parallel because the corresponding direction vectors, 1, 3, negative 1. You can see the direction vectors here is 1, 3, negative 1. And 2, 1, 4, so 2, 1, 4 are not parallel. Uh, in other words, their components are not proportional or scalar multiples of each other. And I'll just illustrate this further. I'm just going to write down both equations. So if we have uh, R1 of t, this equals to just in a vector format, uh, the starting point is going to be 1, negative 2, and 4. 1, uh, negative 2, and 4, like that. And then the next one's going to be plus t. And then this is going to be 1, 3, negative 1, like that. And these are the direction numbers. And then likewise for the second one, r2, I'm going to call this of s. And uh, that is because the, yeah, the parameter here is s instead of t. So the point here is, well, this 2s, that's the direction number. The, and the, uh, the starting position number of the x component is 0 doesn't show there so it's zero and then it's going to be uh the next one is three next one is negative three and then uh the next thing we're going to do is plus s the parameter and then it's going to be two one so two one and then four like that and then you can see here so these aren't uh, all proportional for example this is a uh, times by two now let's do this better. So this like that, that's 2x. This right here is divided by 3. So it's not the same one. This right here is going to be divided by, I mean, times it by negative 4. So this is negative multiplied by negative 4. So yeah, so they're, they're not all proportional. Otherwise, yeah, to be proportional, you need to be all, all do the same thing. Either multiply by 2 or divide by 2 or divide by 3, etc. All right, so we show that they're not parallel. So the next thing we have to do is show that they do not intersect. In other words, they don't uh, intersect at a point where they share the same value. So if L1 and L2 had a point of intersection, there will be values of T and, and S such that, well, they're going to be the same. So we'll have the uh, all the uh, X, Y, Z coordinates to be the same. So if we write that out, uh, that means that we must have a scenario such that X equals to 1 plus t equals 2, 2s. So the x ones have to be equal, 2s. And then the next one is uh, y. So we'll have y is equal to negative 2 plus 3t. So negative 2 plus 3t equals 2. This equals to 3 right here plus t plus s. That's uh, 3 plus s. The next one's 4 minus t. So z equals 2. Uh, the z's going to be 4 minus t equals to negative 3 plus 4t. I mean 4s. Okay, so 4 minus t and then negative 3 plus 4s like that. All right. So if it had a point of intersection, they should have uh, the setup where they're equal. And to show this, well, uh, and, and also, yeah, and we're, we're going to show that they do not intersect, so then they shouldn't have uh, these numbers that equal each other. And uh, so to do that, let's just solve it and see what we get. So if we solve the first two equations, we get, so solve these ones for S and T. So we get uh, this equation 1, this is equation 2, and then this is equation 3. 
like that. And I'll put it like this. Yeah, here, let's move this over further away so it doesn't look like it's a part of the equation. So we have that. Uh, so then we're going to get 1 plus t equals to 2s. The next one's going to be negative 2. Let's put these all in line. 3t equals 2, well, s plus 3. So let's uh, cancel out some terms. Uh, let's cancel out the t's. So to do that, I'm going to do is, well, multiply this entire uh, equation by 3. And then we're going to do subtract this entire equation here. I mean, it's not multiply. We'll just uh, subtract it. And we'll get an equation where, where the t's are canceled. So we're going to get a, a 3. Yeah, so 3 times 1. And then it's going to be minus. This is going to be negative 2. So that's going to be plus 2. Like that. Put a bracket. Like that. And the next one here is going to be 3t minus 3t. So those just cancel. And yeah, over here is going to equal 2. Well, 2s, 3 times 2s is 6s minus s. Then, and then we're going to have a minus 3 right here. So put these all together. Uh, we're going to get uh, this equals 2. 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. This one cancels. Equals 2. 6s minus s is going to be 5s. Then plus, minus 3. And then move this 3 over to the other side and divide out by the divide this 5 out or just move it over. So we're going to get a uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. So we're going to get going to get an s equals 2, 8. And then divide out uh, divide this out, s equals 2, 8 over 5. Like that. All right, so we have s equals 5. We could plug this inside equation 1. So we get uh, 1 plus t. Yeah, 1 plus t is equal to, yeah, it's equal to 2s right there. This equals to 2 times it by 8 over 5. And here I just put this inside like that. So inside the, inside the s. And uh, now the next step is we'll move this one over to the other side. So we're going to get a t is equal to uh, 2 times 8 is 16. 16 over 5 minus 1. Multiply by that 5 over 5. Like that. So that we have the same common denominator. So 16 minus 5 is just going to equal to 11. 11 over 5. All right. So now if we take these two values, so we have t and we have s. If we plug these values in, into the third equation, we get, so if we look at here, so 4 minus t and negative 3 plus 4s. So we'll get uh, 4 minus t like this. Yeah, so 4 minus t equals to negative 3 plus 4s. So they have to be equal like that. So then if we plug in t, so we're going to get a 4 minus 11 over 5 equals 2. We'll move this arrow further. And then equals to negative 3 plus 4, and then s is 8 over 5. Times by 8 over 5, like that. And now what we'll do is, yeah, let's just keep uh, solving it, but uh, just leaving it in place. So here's the sign common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 5 over 5. And that's going to be 20 minus 11. Or actually, uh, better yet, instead of doing that, let's just get rid of the 5 altogether. So I'm going to multiply the entire thing by 5. So we're not changing uh, anything. Uh, we're just scaling up everything by 5, but then the, the equations relative to each other don't change. So this is going to be equals 2. 4 times uh, 5 is 20. So 20 minus 11 equals 2. And then here we're going to get negative 3 times 5 is 15. Like that. And then uh, this 5 cancels. 4 times 8 is just going to be, well, 32. Like that. So then this part right here is going to be uh, 20 minus 11 is 9. And then this part right here is negative 15. So 32, or 30 minus 15 is 15, plus another 2, so that's 17. So in other words, this is not equal to 17. So the equation is wrong. But yeah, I mean, uh, they don't intercept each other, so we can't. So they don't have the same uh, yeah, values there. All right.
Yeah, so therefore there are no values of t and s that satisfies the three equations, so L1 and L2 do not intersect. Thus, L1 and L2 are skew lines, so they're not uh, parallel and they do not intercept. So here is a graph of the lines using the GeoGebra 3D graphing calculator, and there's line 1, 1, negative 2, 4, uh, that's the point, and there's the vector 1, 3, negative 1. And you can see that over here, so 1, negative 2, 4, 1, 3, negative 1. So again, 1, 2, negative 4, and then the next one is 0, 3, negative 3, and then 2, 1, 4 is the vector. 0, 3, negative 3, 2, 1, 4 is that vector, direction vector. And if you graph it out, it looks like this. So this, the black one is, this one is L1, and there's the red is L2, and there's skew lines. So it looks like it's intersection, but it's not. If you turn it, uh, the GeoGebra, you'll see that they don't actually intercept, and they're not parallel, so you see it's uh, going outwards like that.